Hey, hey, I'm going to watch what Ruby Granger, no idea who she is, eats in a day. Welcome back to another university vlog. So I'm going to be doing a productive day in my life slash what I eat in a day today. She has some today kind of eczema here. Festival, uh, with my friend Katie, who I'm sharing a house with next year. So both of us are vegan. Probably a damaged gut. That's because of all the anti-nutrients and toxins and plants. Pretty much every day. It's like brown. There you go. <laughs> On point. It's like special this is what creates leaky gut. With this is why you have this. It's fucked up because she probably has no idea and thinks that she should use some creams or who knows what. Oh, boy. Almond milk? So this is basically just. It's around 2% almond. And it's good, it's not more because it would be super toxic and you would die from it if it was anything close to 90%, obviously. It wouldn't even work. It's mostly toxins, 98%. Water with toxins. That's an absolute scam that they call it almond milk. It has nothing to do with almonds. It's a joke. As I said, I'm leaving soon, but I'm gonna add some fresh blueberries. Just to finish it off, I like to add some peanut butter. This is something that I try and have. I try and have like a spoonful of peanut butter every morning, which might sound really silly. It just really Pretty silly, yeah. Unnecessary. Because you crave animal foods. That I just don't seem to get from other foods, and it means that I get some nuts and some protein in my yeah. breakfast. So you eat seed sludge instead. I will add some peanut butter. Pretty fucking we'll silly. Butter, yep. but I just don't tend to get almond butter. And then I add the milk over the top and I get quite a lot of Cravings milk. for milk. Super, super typical. Yeah, so that is my finished breakfast. It doesn't look too appetizing, but it's delicious. It's a really, really good breakfast, really filling. Feeding anti nutrients to little kids. Yeah, but it's inhibiting. It's always a bunch of junk food, sugar, at these events. Okay, so I'm just gonna have some lunch now. The fuck was that? She destroying the microbes on her hands. and lavender. Okay, so I got this um, two frittatas. So this first one is a macaroni, no, minestrone um, frittata, oh. which looks oh. delicious. And I also got this. That really frittata, seems super which disgusting. Which is a sagaloo frittata. I love sagaloo, it's my favorite Indian dish. From Holland and Barrett, I picked up some of my favorite biscuits, which are these mixed berry oat biscuits. From the vegan market, market again, oh. donuts were my favorite sweet treat before Just I Just thinking about them. eating that. And they had donuts. Oh. So I got this one, which is an apple, Custard crumble donut, which looks amazing and smells delicious. And I really want to eat it now, but I'm going to save it. And then lastly, we went to MS and I got some vegan coleslaw. Basically, Katie was telling me all about how oh, amazing the plant based vegan food at MS is. So I decided to get this coleslaw, which she said is incredible, and also some sweet potato falafels. And I also was going to get this. What is this plant kitchen shit? It's really good cream to promote like veganism sheesh. even more in the UK. I'm so excited to try this. I didn't actually really like. She really looks like somebody who I'm should be eating meat vegan, more than other vegans. I just never really liked the idea of eating egg. How is that vegan? Oh my gosh. If you say that, you indirectly admit that foods with animal ingredients taste good. <laughs> Stupid. I can't work out how I feel about that. It's called the texture of frittata, and it tastes Just like throw up. Soup. That's all she does all day long. No wonder she wouldn't have energy for anything. Okay, what do we have on this plate? Typically they use grape leaves. All right, <laughs> what do you get from that? Is that digestible? Is there any point in eating it? You'll probably get a lot of tannins, which don't let you absorb any protein. And of course, in general, the amino acids are in the anti-nutrients. 
So this is what they call plant protein. It's not something that you can actually access. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's not a lie that vegans don't get enough protein, amino acids, that is, phytic acid from the bread and other grain-based foods. Then you've got oxalates that will create kidney stones. It's just absolutely toxic. It just is. This is poisonous. There's just absolutely no reason to eat it. It's starvation. It's malnutrition. It is not human food. Nah, she doesn't understand. But they all will eventually when they get sick. Okay. I just got back from dinner with Madison. Uh, we went to the Lebanese place, which is our favorite place to go for dinner. Cool story. Sucks because she didn't get over 50 nutrients in this day of eating. Like all vegans. And she lives in the UK. She doesn't get any vitamin D. In summer, maybe. Doesn't look like she goes out much because she's working on the laptop a lot. Because as I said, she has no energy to do anything else like all vegans. This is of course a problem because vitamin D is an animal hormone. She's not getting it from her diet. She's also not getting over 15 other nutrients. Fucking shitty diet. A vegan diet is a horrible diet. It's the least nutritious diet there is. There's no diet <laughs> that doesn't have over 50 nutrients. Only a vegan diet. Why do it? For the animals to destroy your own health? That's retarded. That's literally the definition of retarded. <laughs> Thanks for watching.